All right, now some of you may have seen peeing in action, but for, for the majority of you, let's go ahead and demonstrate and walk through it again. We're going to do peeing on a Windows machine. Now, ping is used to test if there is a network connectivity. Now, if there is connectivity, you can find out the latency. Ping tools are part of a standard operating system, such as Windows or Mac OS X and Linux, as well as really some routers have some ping tools as well. So from the command, the command prompt, I'm putting in my IP address of 192.168.0.12. You see the result. I'm getting a reply four times. Now here I'm getting a reply from the destination, right? See the reply? Now it gives the average speed loss. Uh, the speed was 32 bytes, and it came back with no loss of data. Now the TTL field is set by the sender of the datagram, and it's reduced by every host on the route to its destination. So the purpose of the TTL field is to avoid a situation in which um, say an undeliverable diagram keeps circulating on the internet system. Okay. So here I'm going to ping one more IP address. Let's use 192.168.0.5. Now I'm getting a request timed out. Now this can be due to many different reasons. The most common includes network con network condition or a failure of ARP request, packet filtering, uh, routing error, silent disconnect, some of those. The message is uh, reply from IP address followed by the destination host unreachable. Now the routing problem occurred at a remote router whose address is indicated by the IP address field. So let me explain how to find ping options, right? Just, just simply type in ping and you'll get the options that are available for ping. Okay, so let me, let me show you one more option for ping, right? So let's have a look at the parameters here. C the dash T is used to find the continued ping and dash A will find the host name. Okay. Now I'm gonna going to uh, find the host name for the specific IP of 192.168.0.12. So I type ping dash A 192.168.0.12 and it'll display the host name. And we see the AESTFS is the host name for IP 192.168.0.12. Let's do one more. We'll ping 168 or 192.168.0.12-t to show the continuous ping results until you stop the ping command. And this is used to find any packet drop in the network. It'll show the time, the TTL, and the bytes. So ping is very, very useful command that really a network administrator can use to see if there has been any packet drops. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop this continuous ping. We see the result. It's showing packets sent 26, received 26, and lost 0%, with a minimum of 3 minutes, maximum of 11 minutes, and an average of 4 minutes. All right, so that's a, a quick introduction and uh, demonstration of the ping utility in Windows.